Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Bastine. And, um, yeah, I've been gone for a while again. I think I have stage fright. I don't know. But anyhow, um, well, one thing, I, I just ordered a new computer because this computer is pooping out on me. And it's still on Windows 7 Vista because I didn't want to upgrade to 10. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Social Security was really nice to me and gave me some extra money. So, I decided I would use it and buy me a new computer. So, I'm getting a HP and it will be here next week, I think. I don't know. But anyhow, we are going to paint papers today. I need some painted papers. I've been, I've either been through all my painted papers or I've cut them up or I've punched them out or whatever. And I was trying to find some painted papers for, to do something the other day and I didn't have any. I'm getting glue off of my mat off of my glass here. So, I'm sorry you guys that I haven't been on. I've been diamond painting and doing some scratch art. I'll have to post it on Facebook, my scratch art and my diamond painting. So you can all see what I've been doing. But anyway, let's get started on some papers. I got these papers and I got my card and I, I'm going to be using some satin um, paints and we are going to get going here and start painting and I'm just going to put some paint on here and start scraping it around and hope for the best. Oops. Well, I did have these upside down but evidently upside down doesn't always work so hot in mixing them up so we will shake 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 it all right let's start scraping those and see what we get here so how have you all been I've been watching a lot of you on YouTube. I haven't forgotten about you. That's what I do at night is I go to bed and turn my laptop, my other laptop on and watch YouTube videos of all my friends and craft family and subscribers and yeah. And Let's see, what else do we need on here? We need some, this green. Oops. I haven't done painty papers for so long. I don't know how to do them. Oh, I want to put a paper underneath here to... For a drop paper. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. We'll get some paint down on these and then I can stencil on them and yeah, do something on them. That was too much of that green. So now, I'm going to bring in some yellow on it. Let's use some school bus. I hope you all been doing all right. We've had such screw volley weather. One day it's cold, the next day it's warm. Next day we have 16 feet of snow. 
Oh my gosh. School was closed. The mail was closed. Where I come from, you would have to have snow up to your eyeballs before any of the schools would close. And the bus routes, they would still come. They would still pick up the kids out on the farms. And I came from a little town in Idaho. And I remember walking in snow up to my knees. And unfortunately, we had to wear dresses and nylons to school. But I only lived a block away from the school but it was still cold to walk in it that that deep all right i'm going to set this aside to dry and we'll work on another piece another sheet let's do some peachy colors i like peach I was debating whether to do it this way or on the jelly plate. I brought my jelly plate upstairs. And also, I've been trying to organize this room because it's starting to get junky. I'm waiting for a friend of mine to come and get um, this TV. I bought a new TV. And I'm waiting because you know why? My old TV, there's nothing wrong with it. It was a 40-inch TV, flat screen, but I couldn't get Netflix on it. Can you believe it? Because it, it wasn't installed on the... So I went out and bought a new TV. I got a 43-inch one for two, 200 and something at Sam's Club. My A girl from my church, she let me use her card and he went out there and bought me a new TV so I'm waiting for a, a friend of mine to come and get the recliner chair that was Wes's and move it out of this room and get the 40 inch TV out of here yeah and then I will have enough room to start putting more shelves and organizing upstairs. I don't want to bring too much from downstairs up because I don't want to have a menagerie of clutter like I have downstairs. I bought some new paints from PBO that I want to... Um, I bought the uh, fantasy paints and I want to make some um, on, I want to use it on some wood and make some um, oh I'm trying to think of the word um, um That's what I'm trying to think of. Tiles. Alright, what do I want to put on here? I want something besides orange and blue. Peach and blue. Let's use some lemon zest. I have my paints right next to me. I can always reach over and get some different colors. Everything's real close to me now. Um, I've got it set up where it's all... real close and um, I can... well this room is not very big so But it's big enough to be a craft room. 
bedroom mean? I've seen people be in smaller rooms than this. Like I said, if I get the stuff out of here, I will be able to um, set up another, bring up another shelf unit from downstairs and let's see if we make mud with this. And then I can get stuff organized. Ooh, that's pretty. Off of the floor. So I don't have to label my floor, my pathways, label it. Ha! And um, I've been having a hard time, you know, it's going to be next month it's going to be a year that Wes's mother passed away. I can't believe it's a year already. And then it's going to be time fly and it's going to be a year that Wes passed away. I just, I can't believe how time flies. Time flies. Alright, let's do some purples. Purple, purple. And then I want to, you know, do some stenciling on these and make them pretty, pretty. But you got to put paint down on them first. And I'm going to pull one of my PBO paints out because I really like PBO paints. And I'm going to pull one of these out. Let's see, which one do I want to use? Does purple and green make mud? Another purplish color here. Here we go. This is violet blue. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So I don't have any stories to tell other than it's real hard for me to even get dressed during the day. I sleep most of the day. I'm up most of the night watching you guys. Whatever you post during the day, I watch at night and then I get to sleep about 7 o'clock in the morning and then I sleep all day. I'm going to add some coarse white to this. Just a little bit. I don't know why I want to add white, but white looks good. Oh, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that, computer? Making noises? Alright, now what should I put on it? Another PBO? Let's put this green on here. Let's see what happens. PBOs are shiny. All right, get out to the edge quick. 
messing with me, paper. I can smear some of this paint around on this page. Okay. What this is is that big, well, it's this big. It's 9 by, it's 18 by 9 sheets of paper that I buy at Hobby Lobby. And it comes in a, I think I've shown this before, but it comes in a bundle like this. It's just, they're not, they're just in this plastic. They're not, um, you know, you don't, they're not glued together. And for, I don't know how many pages you get, but for, $5.99, it's a pretty good price, and it's mixed media paper, and it's pretty good stuff, I've used it for drop paper, I've used it for um, this kind of stuff, um, I, you know, I use it a lot, because it is so inexpensive, and, um, okay, what do I want to do here? Let's do some PDOs. I want to do some. Hmm. Most of them are. You can't get them anymore of these very many colors of these anymore. I should have got all of them when they had them, but they don't. Dick Book doesn't have them anymore, only just a few colors. I'm getting a drink, guys. My mouth gets so dry, and I just love the colors of them. And I remember when they had a whole bunch of them, these student grade acrylics. Um, I don't know if there's another. I even looked on Amazon. I don't know if there's another place that carries other colors of them, but. Don't know. Well, now I got a nice pinkish page. Let's put some blue on it. Some teal. This is blue iridescent. And it's going to not be very pretty on top of that orange but that's okay this is supposed to be graffiti painting anyway so that's how I've always called it is graffiti painting but I used to do it with a catalyst an artist catalyst that so looks like a spatula. It was just like scraping it on here. Okay, now we got an ugly page. Now what are we going to do with it? Put some silver on it, I guess.
And that's not helping much. I'm going to put some white on it just to bring it out, calm it, calm the ugliness down a little. Ooh. Of course, it's always in the ugly phase until you put other things on it. I'm going to leave it alone now and go to another page. One thing about it, if you spread it pretty thin, it dries pretty quick. Oh, I'm getting paint all over my hands. Oh, I haven't had that for ages. Yay for me. pink and purple. This is Flamingo. Flamingo. I didn't want to look in my other paints for my bubble gum. I, my other paints are, I've got them in spinners over here and then I've got them in uh, the Deco Art American Kana, I've got them in um, shoe boxes, the plastic shoe boxes downstairs. I took them off the shelf and I didn't sort through them. Well, that's got a little bit of silver in it. Oh, the card. Oh, well, that's okay. Let's do some, let's see, we have lavender fields, eggplant, oh, eggplant's real dark though, let's shoot iris, oh, that got a little runny. We shall shake, 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 shake. I love to do painted papers. I think they're so fun. Oh, and I found a, um, a couple of years ago, I was going to take a class from, you know, I paid for it and everything, but I couldn't do it. In lettering, I just my I just can't get it. I think it was from I don't remember who was teaching it, but I made a a composition notebook and um, glued the pages all together. And let me get it. Let me see. Where did I? Here it is. Anyway, I glued the pages all together, put washi tape on them, and I put this on the front, and it's all ready to go. But I am not. I'm going to use this for another glue book because, and then I'm going to do something with this cover. I don't know what, but I don't think I can tear it off, but I'll put something over the top of it, but isn't that pretty? 
I think it's really pretty. And then it's just, you know, it's just all ready to go. There's just empty pages in it. And they're all glued together. And yeah, that's a good project. That's a good project. Okay, now let's see. What shall we put on this? Again, we need a little more something, something. Something, something. Let me get another drop sheet. Also, when I first started doing this, I um, bought a roll of children's, I'm going to put some darker, uh, I don't know, which color should I put on this? It needs something else. What does it need? Um, Need something in the pink family, not the orange. No. Should I try poppy or shrimp? They're pretty close together. Let's try poppy. Anyway, and I, I bought a roll of this paper that is for kids that go on an easel. You buy it in the kids department at the craft store. And it's real inexpensive, and it's a big, long roll of it, and there's a ton of paper on it. And I used to um, cover my table in that, and um, yeah, this is orange. Anyway, I covered my. And I've got a ton of that left, and I found it last, I've been, you know, I've been finding all kinds of stuff. It was right there in front of my face. It's just that, you know, you walk by it a hundred times, and you keep looking, and you don't see it, and, oh, anyway, I'm going to put some yellow on this. Just a teeny bit. And I thought, well, I need to get that out and use it and make painty papers with it and color it and do all kinds of, you know, make book covers and, you know, stuff. Because it was real cheap. Real inexpensive. Alright. Now let's see. I really like this. This one that's drying. Now that it's drying. I really like that color. So I'm going to go back to. Some of the PBO paint. And let's just play with the PBOs. I've got a rouge, and I've got um, uh, fluorescent ones. I guess we could use those, but they didn't have very many of those either. I have fluorescent yellow, fluorescent yellow, fluorescent pink, fluorescent orange, um, are these two the same? Nope, that's a different green. And I don't have a fluorescent blue. Well, how rude. 
So we'll go with some of these fluorescent colors. Aha. And we'll brighten this paper up. I'm getting running out of room here. Out of space. We're out of space. Anyway. So when I get my new computer, I am going to really try my hardest to figure out how to go live. I don't know if I have any people watching me when I go live, but we can always try, even if there's just one person or a no persons. I'll still go live. And, um, I don't know. I think live makes it better when you're trying to do some artwork and you don't have to worry about um, the time you're on. And you can talk to the people. If the people come and watch. Ooh, that's a lot of fluorescent pink. But I'd like to do some live diamond painting with you guys and some scratch art. Something besides making journals. I mean, that's fine. And making, um, do some clay and work with some, you know, that stuff. That's all fine. But I, I tried the other day and I was getting close to it and I was getting stage fright. Can you believe it? I was getting, I was getting anxious and I, I just couldn't finish pushing the buttons and figuring it out. What I'm trying to figure out is how to go live without an encoder. And you can do that. And I was, you know, watching a video on it and yeah put some yellow on here see what happens some fluorescent yellow not much thing of it is this fluorescent paint is pretty translucent and so it's hard to see it sometimes. Anyway, it's pretty pretty. I think it's pretty pretty. It's really been hard living here by myself. But you know what? I don't want to move in with my sister-in-law. Because, you know, it's not... It, if I moved in with her, it would be her house. It wouldn't be our house. It would be all her stuff. And my stuff would have to just go away. You know, and I don't think that's, that's fair. Because I have my stuff in, you know, in the house that I like. And she has her knicky knack things that she likes, and it you know it just it just won't work. It just isn't gonna work. So she wanted me to move in so we could save money. Uh -uh. I don't think it was something more than that. All right, I'm gonna try some of this blue. This isn't fluorescent. It's a darker blue. I always tend to go to the blues and the pinks and I don't know why. I'm afraid to use black. I don't know why. And the darker colors.
look there, I might get something. Well, it's just paper. It's just paper you can throw away. So anyway, I bought this computer and I, I'm i hoping, I had my son on the phone helping me. And I added more memory into it. And I added a paint shop into it. And it comes with a a um, trial of office. And um, so hopefully, and it it's a 15 and a half inch screen which is going to be quite a bit take up a quite a bit of room here on my table where I have my camera set up because the cord has to go into the computer for my webcam so I'm hoping that it's going to be what I want because when I bought this HP, I mean this HP is years and years old, but it has served me very well. Um, but I, I had the people on the phone and I told them what I, you know, Wes was alive and he told them that I needed the most memory that I could possibly get and the best graphics card I could get and so we were kind of building it on the, uh, the telephone with the people so I had this little voice in my head saying make sure you get memory make sure you get graphics but I'm not a gamer, so I don't know if I need all that extra graphics for gaming. So I didn't get it. But that's something you can't add on. Let's see, what does this need now? Let's do a lighter green. Oh, I touched something and got... This is chartreuse. Chartreuse. And I'm getting my fingers all gunky with paint. I haven't had that in a long time. Long, long. I think I already told you that. I repeat myself sometimes because, you know, when you get old, you repeat yourself. That's just what you do. That's like my granddaughter said that when she was little, she said, that's what she does. And she was so cute. They are cute still, but they're married now. I'm not, not all of them are married, but they're all old enough to leave home and have boyfriends. And my one granddaughter, she's married. My other granddaughter from my daughter, I'm going to put some of this yellow on here. She um, was on drugs and she got picked up and put in the jail. And while she was in jail, she had a heart attack and a stroke from coming down off of the drugs, I guess. Yeah. But that's the drama out in Utah that I don't need to be in. She had a baby and gave them up for adoption, which is, I'm glad she did because she wanted to she didn't want to be a mom. That was just an accident and she wanted to be 
a partier. I don't even think she knew who the dad was. All right, well, I got a green and yellow piece of paper here. Pretty green. It's pretty green. But I'll fix it up when we do stenciling. All right, I think I want to do one of these long papers that I got started here because I have a couple of things in mind that I want to... Um, make a book cover for and I kind of want it to match so I'm just gonna graffiti this up and just play on it and whatever we get we get does that sound good guys and the the journal that I'm going to make, I'm going to show you, and so I want to make sure I have a cover for it that is similar to, well, it's, it's going to have to have, I, you'll have to, I'll have to wait and show you all. But I wanted to make sure I had a big long paper done so that, um, yeah, we could use it as a cover. Then I'm going to have to use one of those smaller ones for a inside cover. So I'm kind of trying to make a match a little bit uh, let's put some of this on it I always go back to the PBOs I pull out my other paints to use but PBOs have got me so spoiled and I would have never known about them had I not watched Patty Tolly Parish. I haven't seen her around lately. Has anybody else? Is she okay? Has she quit our team? She was making stencils and stamps and... I have her on my watch list, but I never see any anything new on there from her. Okay. Now, what else do I want to put on here? Some... Um, Yellow. I'm getting quiet because I'm running out of things to say. I don't have any good stories to tell. I need to find those tags that people are using that have the questions on them. So you can answer the questions and they tell us a little bit about you. And I'm not sure whether, I think you have to Google them through YouTube or something. Let's see, what else do I need on here? Don't want to muck it up too much. Um, some of the, a little bit of the screen, maybe. Did I already put this on? Oh, we're gonna put some more. Mm -hmm. 
These PBOs are iridescent. That means you can really see through them. All right, I think that's all I'm going to do on that. And then I want to do this one. And I want to put some purples on this one. And I got green on here. This one's kind of a mucked up mess. Let's put some of this eggplant. I've never eaten eggplant. Didn't think I'd like it. So I've never tasted it. But I never thought I'd like um, zucchini either. And when I was in Utah living with this guy, he said, I'll show you how to deep fry some zucchini and you'll love it. And pretty much zucchini takes on any flavor you put with it. So he made a, a breading and with egg and I don't know what all, flour and stuff and deep fried it and it was really good so maybe I would like eggplant if I didn't know what it was I think what we tend to do is we don't we look at it and we go I don't think I would like that and without even tasting it now I've got a big purple mess a big purple mess I'm going to put some white on here. And then I'm going to leave it alone because I'll be stenciling on it. And yeah, you know, white always makes things better. I never get the paint out to the edges. All right, I think I'm done graffiti painting for today. My arm is killing me. I don't know what's wrong with my, ooh, I don't like that. All right, guys, I'm going to call it quits, and I'll be back, and we will do some marks on here and stencil these pages and get my papers all ready to use. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That just makes... Um, YouTube know that you like my content and um, yeah and leave me a comment and let me know if you would come and watch me if I went live or if I would just be wasting my time because I want to try it I want to try and go live and see what happens and hopefully I can build my subscription account back up because I think I've, people have left because I haven't been on here but anyway thanks for coming and I will see you again on the next video
And with this, I will sign off and say goodbye if my mouse will work. Thanks, guys.